Our first exercise with the compass is just to get you reoriented to the compass, a little refresher, in case we've forgotten how to use them from being trained before. So, uh, I guess you just notice, first of all, the compass face, of course, has the dial that, uh, that goes around it. And um, north is designated by the big N. That's not the N for Nebraska, that's the N for north. And if we look at our numbers that are on the compass, let's move north up to the, to the top there. Uh, we can see that east is at 90 degrees, south is at 180, west is at 270, and then back up to north for 360. So just a reminder that north can be either 0 or 360 depending on how someone is using it in a certain situation. East being 90 is easy to remember because that's a right angle coming straight down from north and then over is a 90 degree angle. All right, so we've got the, the face of the compass designated in degrees. The other things that we see on the compass is the actual needle and it's pointing north. If I hold it level, that lets it uh, rotate in the fluid properly, unimpinged, and um, it's pointing north. And the white part is pointing south. Now you'll notice that my compass and my uh, little dial here on the face are not aligned. Uh, this says north is up that way. The needle says north is that way. And so one of the first things we need to do is align the compass. And if I was wanting to take a bearing uh, in this direction of my yard with the compass pointing in that direction, and I wanted to see what that bearing was, I'm going to use a method called putting red in the shed. This is a, just a colloquial phrase to describe what we're going to do. But you notice we've got the red needle. So that's the red of the put red in the shed. On the bottom of this compass face, the compass dial, you'll notice this little red hatched arrow that is pointing up towards north. And that also turns as I turn the dial on the compass. And I'm going to, so that's the shed. Okay, refer to that as the shed. It looks like it has a little roof there if you turn the arrow into a roof on a shed. I'm going to put that shed directly underneath my arrow, my, my red needle. So now I've got red, the needle, in the shed, which is actual north. And if I check, I've got my compass now aligned. The needle is pointing north, as it always does when we let it float, and it's also pointing north in the way that we've got this compass dial set. And then I can look down here and look to see what bearing I have. This little white mark here indicates the action is the indicator for the for the bearing. And it looks to me like we're at something like 77 degrees. Each hatch there between 60 and 70, in this case, there's 80, 70, 60. Each hatch is two degrees, and it looks like it's right between two of the hatches. So even my old eyes can see that that's about uh, 67. All right, so that's how I would find what the bearing is to the corner of my yard.